we are all looking for success in our life and for that we really need a very healthy body with lot of vitality and a calm mind and where else can we get that if not in hatha yoga practice so why not we try it and see how we can achieve that let's do it Om chanting three times, and then the Hari Om chant, couple of times. When you do the Hari Om, begin the Ha at the abdomen, bring the Re all the way up to the throat, O into the head, and M mm all the way further up. Okay, ready? Sit straight and relaxed. O. do the netra vyayam the eye exercises ready up down up down up down rest now horizontal right left right left right left right left Good. Rest. Now upper half. Begin with the right corner and then go to the left. Once again this way. Once more. Back. Third time. Back. Good. Rest now. Now the same with lower half. Begin with the right corner. Down and to the left. Come down again. Once again, once again, one more time. Good. Rest. Now, drop your palms, feel the heat, and then cut your eyes with the palms. Feel the warmth of the palm, and then slowly bring the palm down. until the finger tip touches the eye balls and then slowly massage the eye balls outward 
just a few times. Good, that's good. Thank you, I've done very well. Now let's do the sun worship, the Surya Namaskar. It's comprised of 12 positions to help the whole body stretch out well to prepare you for the rest of the positions. Okay? Now slowly stand up. Come a little forward. Ah, that's good. Now let us do the 12 positions. Number one, keep the feet together, palms together at the chest. Now two, lock the thumbs together, stretch the arms out, up and back. Look up. Three, bend forward from the hips, keep the knees straight, bring the hands towards the floor and face towards the knees. Four, bend the knees slightly, hands on the floor beside the feet, stretch the left leg all the way back, left knee on the floor and look up. Five, stretch the right leg back beside the left leg. The buttocks high, the head between the arms, so the body forms a nice triangle. Six, lower the knees, chest and the chin to the floor, keeping the pelvis slightly raised. Seven, lower the pelvis to the floor, stretch up the head, neck and chest. Eight, press down the palms, raise the buttocks high in the air, so the body again forms the triangle. Now try heels towards the floor. Nine, bring the left foot forward between the hands, right knee to the floor and look up. Ten, bring the right foot forward beside the left and keep the legs straight, the head towards the knees. Number eleven, lock the thumbs, stretch the arms out, up and back. Keep the arms along the ears. Position 12. Bring the palms together again at the chest. Now lower the arms, have the eyes closed and relax. Let's do another round a little faster. This time I won't be telling you the position. Simply I'll count one, two, three, and it's up to you to do. Hmm? Ready? Yes. Feet together. One, two, three. Knee straight. Four. Five. Heels on the floor, six, seven, eight, nine, da -da, that's it, ah, good, ten, Eleven and twelve. That's beautiful. Now drop the hands down, feet apart, and relax a little. In another round, we'll be doing real fast. Ready for it? Yeah. Feet together. Yes. Ready? One, two. Three, 
four, a little faster, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Terrific. Thank you. You did very well. Thank you. Relax. Now you can lie down and relax. Turn around on your back. And just let go. Arms out alongside the body. Legs apart and relax. Make sure when you relax that the entire body is free from any tension. Mentally go through the whole part of the body, all the parts, from the toe to the head or the head to the toe. If you feel any tension anywhere, just simply send an order, a mental command to the muscles so that they can be relaxed. Every muscle is in your command. They are ready to listen to you if you only exercise your mastery. Okay, now let's do the Cobra pose, the Bhujangasana. Raise the left arm over the head, roll on your chest, Come to the center of the spread, keep the feet together, forehead on the floor, the palms right under the shoulder, elbows close to the body. Now slowly raise the head up, roll, 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 further up the chest also, try to look up the ceiling. A little more up. That looks like a real cobra, but don't hiss. <laughs> okay. Now, slowly come down again. Leave the chest down. Now the chin down. Now the forehead down. That's good. Now take the arms out and put it on the side of the body. Spread the feet up, turn the head aside, and relax. Okay, now let's do the cobra pose once again. Prepare yourself for that. Keep the legs together, arms close to the body, palms under the shoulder, forehead on the floor, now slowly roll the head up and the chest also. Elbows up. Good, good, that's good. A little more up, a little more. But not to strain much. Keep the arms, elbows closer. Smile. Heels together, please. Just relax in this position. Have a deep breath. It really expands the chest cavity. Relax the spine, build the strength to the spine. Okay, now slowly come down, bring the chest down until the chin touches the floor. Then bring the forehead down. That's good. Now turn the head aside, arms close to the body on either side, legs apart, and let go. Relax. Terrific. That you all do very well. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Okay, let's do the half locust pose now. Ready for it. Keep the legs together. Chin against the floor. Arms right under the body. Palms facing up. 
elbows as close as possible. Hold the breath a little and slowly lift the right leg without bending the knee. As high as you could. Andana, a little more straight please. Good, that's good. And hip almost on the floor, don't raise it. Now slowly come down. Take a little breath again. One more time with the other leg now. Slowly rise up. Up a little more. Good, good, good. That's wonderful. Now slowly come down. Couple of seconds, relax. Once again with the right leg. Ah. Right leg, not the hip. Ah, good. That's wonderful. Come down slowly. And with the other leg. Up, 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 up. Beautiful. Come down slowly. Relax, legs apart, hands out of the body, chin on the side. Good, that's wonderful. Good. Now let's do the full locust. Legs together, chin against the floor. Arms right under the body, palms up, elbows as close as possible. Now inhale and hold the breath a little. Now raise the feet up all the way. Let them be together. Good, that's good. Slowly come down. Take the arms out of the body, legs apart, head aside and relax. Very good, very good. Okay, now let's do the bow pose, the dhanurasana. Would you bring the legs together, forehead on the floor, bend the knees, hold your ankles. Knees almost close to each other. Now you can inhale a little, hold the breath and pull up both the ways. Both the halves should come up. Arms straight. Arms of the string for the bow. Pull up a little. Up. Ah, good. Now slowly come down. Rest as you are for the next round. Now do it once again. Ready? Up! Up! Oh, that's good. The toes should be touching each other. That's good. Up! Once again. Good. Now slowly come down. Now you can release the ankles. Take the legs down. Turn the head aside. And relax. 
Maybe you would want to turn around and relax, ready for the next pose. Turn on your back. That's good. Now you'll be ready for the next position. Now let us do the Chanu Shirasana, the head to knee pose. Please bring the legs together. Raise the arms up over the head on the floor. Lock the thumbs. Inhale, hold the breath and slowly raise up to the sitting position. Now arms down. Now keep the right leg stretched, bend the left leg, bring the left sole against the right thigh, inside of the thigh, knees down, the knee down, okay. Now raise the arms up again, lock the thumbs, exhale and slowly bend forward, bend at the hip, try to touch the toe. If you can't, hold the leg wherever you can. Those who touch the toes can try to bring the elbows down also onto the floor. Very good, very good. Here you, could you keep the toes straight up this way? Good. Can you touch the toe also? Yeah. That's very good. Don't strain but, huh? take it easy. Okay, that's all right if you can't touch the toe. Now raise the arms up again. Come to the sitting position. Arms down. You change the leg now. Do the other half. Sole against the inside of the thigh. Arms up. Thumbs locked. Exhale and bring forward the body. Bend at the hip. You look to be straining. Just relax. Hold the leg wherever you can comfortably. Know that asanas are not done with strain. That's it. Just be relaxed. Feel the muscles where you get pulled. Breathing normal. That's good. Now once again, slowly come to the sitting position with the hands up. Hands down again. Stretch the leg. Now raise the arms up, thumbs locked. Now you have a little difficult job to do. You have to hold the breath and then go back slowly to the lying position. And make sure that you don't raise your feet up. Slowly, 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 slowly. That's very good. Arms on the side of the body. Legs apart and relax. Very soon you will be doing the Paschimottanasana. 
the forward bending force. It's almost the same instead of single leg, you use both the legs. Are you ready to do the other one right now? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. Then raise your arms up over the head on the floor, <coughs> lock the thumbs, keep the legs together. Now hold the breath and come up slowly. Up. Very good. Exhale and bend forward. Just in a relaxed way. Catch the leg wherever you can. If you can catch the toes comfortably, do it. Make sure that your body is fully relaxed. If you can, try to bring the elbows onto the floor. Think of the abdominal muscles and the back of the lower spine. It's a very good pose to help tone the abdominal muscles, abdominal organs, improves digestion, removes flatulence. Wonderful position. Breathing normal. Very good, very good. Now again, slowly come back to the sitting position. Pull the arms stretched up, thumbs locked. Now you know how to go back hmm? to lying position. Hold slowly, slowly, slowly. You can use your elbow if you find it difficult. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, that's great. Everybody did well. Okay, take the arms back to the side of the body, legs apart. Now you are in favorite position, relaxing. <laughs> Normal breathing. Make sure every time you breathe out, feel that you are throwing out all the tension, stiffness from the body. Very important to relax in between so that you can do the pose also in a relaxed way. Wonderful. Now we are going to do the, the most important position called Sarvangasana or the all members position or shoulder stand. Are you ready for it? Yes. 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 Good, good. Would you please bring the legs together, keep the arms on the side of the body, try to keep the palms well pressed on the ground so that you can gently raise the legs up. Slowly hold the breath and raise up the legs, bring it to the perpendicular position. Keep the knees straight. Now again, another push. Go up, bring the legs parallel to the ground. Okay, can you? Good. Now, now raise the arms up, the forearm, give a support to the back and then bring the legs up straight. Keep the legs together, knees straight. See, as far as possible, straight, vertical to the ground. If you get a little, little saliva, keep it in the mouth. Do not swallow and don't cough. Make it straight. You can do it better. Good. That's it. Wonderful. See how vertical it is, like a candle. Then you have to keep the head straight. Wonderful. Good. Keep it straight a little. Toss up. It will look nice if it is very straight and vertical. Feel the weight of the body on the neck. Press the chin against the chest. Very good. Very good. 
are all doing good. Wonderful. Once again, straight. That's wonderful. See, you can feel naturally that the entire blood rushes to the thyroid. Thyroid gland is the most important gland that takes care of the entire body and its functions. So it improves, tones the thyroid gland. It certainly gives some rest to the heart. And of course, the entire circulatory department hmm, is taken good care of. It's a very restful position. You can stay as long as you want. Good, good. Just breathe normally. Very good. We're all doing very well. That's beautiful. Okay, now slowly you bring the legs parallel to the floor over your head. Come on, let me see. Do it slowly. And put the forearms down on the floor, palms down. Now you can slowly release the body down. Bring the body down up to the hip. Automatically, the legs come to the perpendicular position. Very good, very good, very good. Now, pressing the palm, holding the breath, slowly bring the legs down. Slowly, slowly. There is a natural tendency to lift the head up. Try not to. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's wonderful, wonderful. Now, keep the legs apart, hands apart, and relax. Okay. Now let's do the counter position for the shoulder stand. The fish pose, or the matsyasana. Because in Matsyasana, the head bends backward. Instead of the neck, it's the throat that stretches now to help the parathyroid glands and to expand the chest cavity more. Okay, let's try that. Keep the legs close. Arms close to the body. Palms against the thighs. Now, grabbing the thighs well, Pressing the elbow, raise halfway, about 45 degrees from the floor. Now, bend the head back all the way, as much as is possible, and bring the chest up and put the head on the floor. The crown of the head should be on the floor. You should feel the pull or the stretching of the throat. Good. Okay, see, that's where you should feel. That's wonderful. A little more. Uh, good. You see, the shoulders should be as spread out as possible. Good, good. That's wonderful. Okay, that's very good. Breathe deeply. If you feel any strain, 
don't have to wait for me, you can come down. That's good now. Again, putting the weight on the elbow, raise the head off the floor, come back to the half sitting position and then slowly bring the body down. Wonderful, wonderful. Now just let go and relax. Legs a little apart. That's what you call fish pose. Now you can just relax the head by turning the head this way and that way. Sort of rolling. Feel that you are relaxing the neck muscles. Just roll. Good. That way. That way. And bring it back to the normal position. Now we'll do one more. The wind relieving. Pavana Muttasana. Keep the legs together, arms close to the body. It's a very simple pose to release the flatulence, abdominal gas. Now slowly raise the knees up, bring the feet closer. Now, okay, embrace your knees. And raise the head, go towards the knee, try to give a nice kiss to your own knees. Very good. Feel the pressure of the thighs against the abdomen. Breathe normally. Don't strain, you seem to be straining a little. Huh? Just easy. Okay, now slowly release the lock, come down, release the legs, straighten it up, and a little relaxing. A few long deep breathing. Okay, we have bent the spine forward, backward, neck forward, backward. Now it's time to do the spinal twist. It's a little bit complicated position, so it's better that you all watch one person doing. So all of you could slowly sit up and just watch this young lady doing. Okay, come around. Now, though normally we do it turning to the right first, just for you to see the spine, you are going to make her do the other way around. Okay, now you are going to twist it to the left side first. For that, lift that leg up, the right leg, left leg, sorry, and then put the leg here, yeah, that's more or less lock one. Hmm? Now, bring that here, lock two, and then three. Then bring the hand a little more here, twist the head. Even the eyes could watch as far as this corner. See, you see the spine here? That's what. Okay. Breathing very normal and just do it to your capacity. Okay, now take this hand off, this one off, leg, and then stretch it. You are back to the position. Got it? Okay, yes. let's all do it together. Are you all ready now? Yes. yes. Okay, this time we are twisting to the right side. For that, lift the right knee up, leg close to the left knee, then slowly bring the foot beyond the other knee. Good. Now, twist the body to the right, automatically the hand comes here. That's it. Now, 
See if you can catch your knee. Turn the head round. A little more. With your upper arm, you can even give a push against the knee to make a little better twist. That's very good. Wonderful. Breathing normal. You see, you are raising this hip too much up. Bend a little forward. That's it. Yeah. Good. Okay, now release the locks one by one. First the right arm, and then the left arm, then the right leg, this side. Make it straight. Good. A little relaxing before you go to the other side. Now lift the left leg, left knee up, left foot, the other side of the right knee. Now raise the arm, twist it to the left. That's good. Twist the head. Wonderful. Now Give a push here. That's wonderful. Turn the head also as much as you can. They see how much you can see this side? You have to even see the eyeballs also could go. You should feel the spine being twisted. Give a little twist once again. Push a little. Up. Mm. Good. Okay. Now take the left arm and the right arm. Left leg. Straighten it. Good. You have to learn another pose which you call the lotus position. I'll show you how to do the lotus position. First, bend the right leg, put it on the left thigh, left thigh and then bend this leg and put it on the other thigh. But don't break the knee. You can do it, just do halfway. It's very hard to do first. Could you try yourself? Good. If you find it hard, don't raise it up there, put it under the thigh. That's it. That's called half lotus. Okay. Can you all do that now? Yes. You need this position to do the yoga mudra. Okay? That's very simple, but be careful. Don't break your knees, eh? Put the arms behind. Hold the wrist of the other arm. Exhale and bend forward. Just in a relaxed way. If you can, Bring the forehead onto the floor, if you can, without any strain. Breathing normal. Just be relaxed. Now, try a little more down. That's good, that's good. Okay, now slowly come to the sitting position. Wonderful. Now release the arms. Have a couple of slow, deep breathing. Good. Now you can unlock the legs and go back to the lying position so that you can take a little rest. Good. 
Now you are going to do a long relaxation, part by part. It needs more of mental work. That means you have to send your mind to every part that you want to relax and apply your will, sort of sending a command to that part and make it relax. And before that, every part should be tensed and then relax. Starting from the toe, slowly upward. Have a few simple deep breathing. Now let us start with the right leg. Just think of the right leg. Tense all the muscles of the right leg. All the muscles. Lift it up about 12 inches off the floor. Then when I say drop, simply relax the muscles and let it fall down. Drop. Very good. Now simply roll it a little this way and that way and see if it is flexible. Good, good. I could see that. Leave it. Now let's do with the other leg, the left leg. Tighten the muscles. Uh, as tight as you could. Lift up the entire leg. Drop. Now just gently roll a few times, just two, three times, and leave it relaxed. Yes, it's really relaxed now. Tighten the hip muscles, the buttocks muscles. Tense it. Drop. Once again, tight and relax it. Now we come to the abdominal area. For that, inhale deeply, bloat up the abdomen. When I say out, open the mouth and let the air burst out. Out. Good, good, good. Inhale deeply, this time let the chest expand as much as possible. Hold it. Out. Now, the arms, the right arm. Tense the right arm, close the fist, lift it up, hold it as tight as you can. Relax. Good. Roll it. That's good. Very good. Leave it like that. Now, the left hand. Hold it tight, close the fist, up. Little more above the floor, drop. Good. Roll it and see. Very good, it's relaxed, wonderful. Now, squeeze the shoulders, raise the shoulders off the floor once, hold it there, don't shake any other parts of the body, drop, good, now pull the shoulders close to the ears, hold it tight, drop, that's really good, now you come to the neck muscles, roll the head to the right and left a few times, thinking that you are really relaxing all the neck muscles. There are a lot of muscles in the neck. That's good. Now, again, raise the head up a little, tense the neck muscles, hold it like that, drop. Very good, very good. 
Now, all the remaining part is the face muscles on the head. Now, press the lips tightly. Relax. The cheek, squeeze the cheek. Relax. Now, simultaneously, the forehead, cheek, chin, eyes, nose, everything. Squeeze all the muscles of the head. Relax. Once again, squeeze all the muscles of the face. Relax. That's very good. Very good. Now you literally have relaxed all the parts of the body. Now, without trying to move any part, send your mind to go around the body. Start from the legs up. See if they are really rela relaxed. There may be some concealed tension somewhere without your knowing. The moment you recognize that, send your will to relax it. All the way, legs, the buttocks, the stomach area, the chest area, the arms, the shoulders, the neck, and all the face muscles. Even the lips are free from any tension. Good. Good. Now, the body is literally no tension at all. Just watch the breath at this moment. As there is no tension in the body, there is no need for a heavy breathing. So the breath is very shallow. Simply observe the breath. Going in and out, don't use any force. Watch the breath. You watch the body relax, now you are watching the breath going smoothly, in and out. It looks like you are hardly breathing. Why? Because when there is no physical movement, there is no need for much of a deep breathing. The breath becomes very shallow. Now, leave the breath also, let it run by itself. Think of your own mind. See what's happening in the mind. It looks like the mind is not doing anything. The mind also seems to be totally relaxed. You can say almost thoughtless. Now you see, you were the witness of your own body, your own breath and your mind. If that is so, who was the one who was observing all these things? That means you are not the body, not even the vital breath, not even the mind. There seem to be a witness. That is the essential quality of the soul, the pure soul. Let the soul witness body relaxing like this.
slowly breathe in and out let the mind think of the breath the breath is very very soft and slow now now you can consciously make it a little deep breathe in and out without any tension now another breath take fully in and then imagine when you are taking the breath in the vitality is pervading all over the body from the head to foot and breathe out now the breath really energizing the face muscles let the face muscles move a little that's good now the neck muscles you can roll the head a little imagining that you are really energizing the neck muscles that's good now the shoulders lift up a little leave it down now roll the arms both the arms simultaneously good keep it close to the body and then another deep breath will energize the chest and the stomach and the buttock muscles then there goes the legs also feel that the energy is flowing into the legs slowly let the legs move good good now bring that legs closer to each other arms close to each other to the body now we can slowly wake up and try to sit up good 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 would you like to turn around and face me that's very good how do you feel wonderful Great. wonderful fully relaxed yes. did you sleep no, no. sort of sleeping huh? conscious sleep very good okay now we should go to the breathing part the three breathing techniques that we'll be learning now the first one is dirga swasa just long deep breath using the stomach and the lungs the second one is kapala bhati which means by vigorous breathing you brighten your skull the head it accelerates the circulation then the third one will be nadi suddhi the alternate breathing which calms down your body mind everything okay now let's do the dirga swasa for that first breathe out when you breathe out squeeze the abdomen a little all the air out then slowly breathe in fill the abdomen fill the chest and then do it again three times okay ready breathe out and breathe in ah in ah and breathe in that's very simple it just to train the muscles and the chest cavity to do the future techniques the next one is kapala bhati it quick expulsions i'll just demonstrate once so you can see in a few times you can do and stop 
first a little, then another few times. Simply sit. Don't jerk the body too much. Okay, try it. Ready? Out, 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 out. When you breathe out, squeeze the abdomen a little. Don't jerk the body too much. Now rest a little, then you will do it another round. And another round. In between, better to rest a little. Okay, the second round. Go ahead, start. Up, 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 up. Good, good. Once again, the last round. Ready? Out, 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 out. Good. That's very good. Very good students. Wonderful. Now we will do the calming breath. breath. Nadi Suddhi. Actually, Nadi Suddhi means it purifies all the nerves and the nerve centers. Nadi Suddhi. For that, you have to use a special mudra with your fingers. See? Hold the hand like this. Close the entire finger. Leave the last and the ring finger, then three fingers are out now. The two fingers are folded. Simply turn it towards your face and the two fingers to close the left nostril, the thumb to close the right nostril. That's all. So you simply close the right, breathe out and breathe in. Change. Breathe out, breathe in, change, breathe out, breathe in, change, breathe out, breathe in, change. Breathe out. Okay. You can do as long as you want like that. Keep the body always straight but not stiff. Remember, when you breathe in, fill the lungs. Breathe out, empty it completely. Use the technique that you did for the Dirga Swasam. And remember, when you breathe in, cool, fresh air goes in, fills the entire body. It's not actually the air that fills the entire body, but the vitality. The air fills the lungs, the vitality fills the entire body. And then when you breathe out, you are throwing out all the heat, all the unwanted things from the body. It's a form of concentration also. Your entire attention should be on the breath.
That's really good. Okay, good. When you breathe out a lot, you can take your hands off. And then just simply breathe normally a few times. Now let us conclude this session with a little peace chant. For that we will be using a Sanskrit word Shanti, which really brings nice peaceful vibrations. So let us do it responsively. I will sing the peace chant and you will follow up. Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om. Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om. Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om. Asato ma sadgamaya. Asato ma sadgamaya. Tamasho ma jyotir gamaya. Tamasho ma jyotir gamaya. 
मृत्योर्मा अमृत गमय lead us from the unreal to the real from the darkness of ignorance to the light of wisdom from the fear of death to the realization of immortality om shanti 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 लोका मे दि एंटायर क्रिएशन बी फिल्ड विथ पीस एंड जॉय लव एंड लाइट ओ Thank you and peace be with you all. May this great science of yoga bring you health, happiness, peace, prosperity and bliss to you all.